Alright, what's up guys? Welcome to a brand new mini series I'm going to be doing on my channel, basically walking you guys through how to use PK Hex to make your Gen Mons look legitimate, as well as pass Nintendo or Game Freak's hack check. Each of these videos will be assuming that you already have access to a homebrew 3DS because I will not be walking you guys through how to homebrew your 3DS. Because I do not want to be responsible if you guys mess up and break your 3DS. So Joe Door makes a bunch of tutorials on how to access homebrew and uh, I'll leave a few of those videos in the description of this video. These videos are basically meant for educational purposes for my friends who are having trouble ginning their mons. And uh, I know Pokemon ginning is a hot button topic in the community right now. I'm sure there's going to be a lot of hate in the comment section, but uh, I really don't care. Alright guys, welcome to video number 4 of my Pika Hex series. Today I'm going to show you guys how to gin uh, move tutor moves on your mons from like Pokemon Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire. Now obviously this does not work for Gen 7 mons, it only works for Gen 6 and below, so be wary about that. For this example, we are going to be giving Greninja a the move uh, Gunk Shot, which normally Greninja cannot learn. Basically what move tutors do is they, they're NPCs in game that teach you moves that your mons normally don't get through like leveling up. Um, and like TMs and HMs and stuff like that. So for instance, like I said, we're going to be going with a Greninja and the only way to get Gunk Shot on Greninja is the move tutor from Pokemon Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire. So you can nickname your Greninja or whatever Mon, uh, you can nickname it whatever you want. So <laughs> I'm going to literally name it whatever. <laughs> um, level you can set it to whatever you want. I, I like to set my Mons to level 50 just because I Wi-Fi battle a lot. Um, nature, we're going to go with a, actually, you know what, Gunk Shot is a physical attack. Let's go with a Naive Nature. Nice mixed Greninja. We'll go with a Life Orb. Um, we'll max out Friendship just because it's a habit for me. You don't have to do that, obviously. Um, and the ability will go with Protean. Now, keep note that is the hidden ability for Greninja. And uh, we'll need to know that in a little bit later in the video. Um, we'll leave the language as English. We'll give it Pokerus. Um, I live in the United States, North Carolina, and Americas. Um, so we kind of already went over this stuff. I'm just kind of flying through this because we've already gone over it in another video. And if you guys haven't watched the previous videos to that, watch that before you watch this video. Mets, we're going to do obviously Pokemon Alpha Sapphire, or Pokemon Omega Ruby works as well. but. Because I actually own Alpha Sapphire, I'm going to go with this one. Um, it also works with X and Y. Um, basically, the move tutors work for any game under uh, Sun and Moon. So Sun and Moon do not work, but any game under that, you can give your Pokemon move tutor moves. Um, so we're going to go with Alpha Sapphire for this example, but you could use, like, let's say Greninja was a 5th gen mon. You could use Black, White, Black, White 2, etc. Whatever. <laughs> You get the point, basically. So, met location, we're just going to go with Slateboard City. Um, we'll leave it in a Pokeball because it's a starter. Um, met level is 1 because we wanted to make it look like it's bred, as we did in Episode 1 of this series. Stats, we're going to go with Max Everything because this is going to be a Mixed Greninja. We'll go Max Speed, Max Special Attack, Rest and Attack. Alright, and so now, this is where things get interesting. So we're going to go Gunk Shot, Dark Pulse, Hydro, Pump, and then we'll go Ice Beam. So that's going to be our set. Not the greatest set in the world, obviously, but this is an example. And obviously, make sure you uh, give yourself PP ups, as I've discussed in other episodes. And then down here, you see these red exclamation points. Just click in between that and the text box. It'll bring up this. Uh, this prompt here just click yes and that should be fixed next you can actually leave the TID or SID here um, this is just PK Hex's thing but you can change the OT to whatever your name is so let's say your name is Jonathan um, whatever we'll say it's John <laughs> just to keep it short um, and then whatever the so basically this is going to change anyway, the latest non-OT handler. This is going to change to whatever your uh, trainer name is in Sun and Moon or whatever game you're ginning these mons for. Um, so that, it auto-filled for me um, just because this is my Sun and Moon save file. But um, 
yeah, it's, you, you don't have to mess with this. Just make sure, actually, just put your uh, sun and moon name, your trainer name here, and then make sure that this box is green. If it's not, just click it like that. You can see how they both turn green. Just make sure that the bottom one is clicked. And because we went with a hidden ability for the extra bytes, go ahead and change the zero to a one. And then memories you can leave alone. And then the reroll, you just reroll once. And then reroll the PID, and then you can make it shiny if you want to, you don't have to. And that's it, just go ahead and right click and set in your box, and now you have a Greninja with Move Tutor moves. As you can see here, Gunk Shot being one of them. You could also go with like Low Kick, I think is another one that Greninja gets. But yeah, have a field day guys. Peace out.